What it do, homies? We are here about to check out some tank fish, Roblox Tower Defense X in a nutshell. Let's go ahead and shut up, turn it up. Fish, and I'm being forced at gunpoint to play this game. Welcome to TDX, not to be confused with the government service group that transports missiles with I didn't pickup trucks. Existed. Silly mistake, I know. It's basically tower defense simulator, but according to John, it's better. Yeah. As for the lore, nobody knows, but I have a theory. Tower Defense X is actually the sequel of Balloon Tower Defense. The year is 2025. The Brotherhood of Mad, a terrorist group, nuked South America and eliminated all supplies of banana. This starved all the monkeys to death, and now to avenge the monkeys. The GDA, led by Roblox John and Jordan Peterson, is Sorry. fighting against zombies made by the the brotherhood but hey that's just a theory an lsd overdose theory no 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 is there really a theory or like is there really some lore or everything because why did that sound believable i've heard crazier theories on on the backgrounds of games Just like any tower defense game, the gameplay consists of placing down defenses, enemies spawning, watching your defenses kill enemies, neuron activated, dopamine released. Your goal is simple, keep the others out of wherever they're trying to reach. It could be a top secret facility or an ice cream truck for all I could care, but it doesn't matter because once they reach it, something bad happens. As the game progresses and you get into later waves, the enemies will become stronger, faster, and annoying. Double sound power. To counter that, you can divert all the tax money into military spending instead of <laughs> healthcare or some shit, and upgrade your defenses. Beware though, because during the last few waves, it goes from zero to a hundred real fucking quick it goes from two i know where that sound come from that sound difficulty bite. spike do be hitting harder than my dad's belt so you actually need some good strats in order to win if you lack brain cells follow some tutorials like what i do with arc knight thank you kyosin v I thought I thought a sponsorship in was coming. In every game, you can bring with you For six uh, towers. You cannot bring more, but you can oh. bring less if you're fucking poor. So choose wisely. <laughs> you get money to deploy towers by getting government subsidies and hurting people. If what are these videos, bro? What are these? Was that was that a soldier on all fours chasing after a child? Ooh you have teammates, the money will be split evenly, and you will get a first-hand experience of living in China under Mao. Not being able to afford jack sh**. But unlike communist China, your farms want to get confiscated, so you can do money that way. When the enemies reach the end, you lose HP, based on the amount of HP they have left. So it's levels. kind of like a car crash you could have oh. prevented. May the stronger car with more HP wins. I didn't think I need to say this, but after seeing some kid bring in a f***ing boat in a land-only map made me realize that I might have to explain this. It's a boat. It goes in water. If there's no water, there's no boat. Your ass is not in Vinland Saga. There's also a line saga. of sight system where obstacles can cock block your towers. Because after all, you cannot hit what you cannot see. Try punching someone with your eyes closed. Trust me, you won't feel it. Different maps have different difficulties depending on their terrain. And if you're high on adrenaline, you can pick a more challenging mode for extra brain damage. Now, trade off for incoming. You get advertisement. I get Money. Oh, here hey, it comes. Kids, do you like funny tractors with big guns? Of course you do. They're f***ing cool. But if they're so cool, then the world Supreme of it must be f***ing rad. World we of Tanks is a free-to-play multiplayer game where you can drive every man- I know you watched it already, but watch it again. It's a dream car. A Porsche. Not that one. The one that shoots 128mm shells and can tank AP rounds in the face. Cybertruck is bulletproof. Well, let me tell you something about German engineering. It's not shell Safety standards are not an issue when you are the danger. Participate in massive battles against other players with 800 different tanks. They've got the normal ones, the fast ones, the goofy out ones, the ones that just won't f***ing die, the ones that are made out of paper but hit like a truck, the once that instead of shooting glass straight, cannons. fire in an arc That's and what those much were. more.
How you play is up to you. Play fast, play slow, play with only the mouse. Don't play. The options are endless. There are over 40 maps you can fight on, and the tanks are modeled with historical accuracy. Trust me, just like they a must real be making a lot of money. Crew, you too will start feeling traumatic after 100 hours of playtime. If you are new at the game, you can join today traumatic. using the code COMBAT. New players get the tier 6 Cromwell B, 250k credit, and 7 days of premium. You also get to rent those 3 tanks for 10 battles each. By the way, Cromwell B is actually meta in this tier, so don't miss the opportunity. Back hmm. to the video. Good to know. There is a Fire vast variety of enemies in this game to hit the diversity quota. You got zombies, bigger zombies, zombies with armors, zombies who think they're John Cena, zombies with common sense who realize that yes, they should probably run, zombies who play League of Legends, zombies that spawn more zombies. That's messed up. That's I know what you were getting at. That's messed up. Zombies, zombies. But is it true? That is a big question. Also, guys, I do have a Discord server. It's down in the link. I uh, spent some time, me and another friend, spent some time making it nice, all shiny and everything. I plan to be active on it. Uh, so hit me up on there. Let's talk about this video. Zombies that give your towers concussion and much more because I'm tired of saying the word zombie. The devs eventually ran out of brain cells and started combining zombies traits know, and cereal, abilities. Cereal. Why be special when you can be double special? Trust me, eventually there's gonna be a fat ass zombie a who's also gonna have armor but is somehow fast as f Make him invisible too. You know what? Give him a taser gun while you're at it. This guy is on the whole spectrum. Apart from the regular grunts, there's also... Oh, I thought that was actually in there. That's Unlike Elder, Elder regular Green. enemies who act like punching bags, bosses act like Arcanite enemies. They f***ing fight back. They will hit the towers. It's the Roblox Predator. He's gonna groom all your towers. He's like a mini boss and he has a single ability. Kill. That's it. That is pretty cool. SCP-049 looking ass, the war criminal, <laughs> convicted in both Leipzig and Nuremberg for the extended usage of gas. Different color of gas have different effect on your towers. Red lowers damage, green and black lower fire rates, and blue reduces range. He's probably oh, the wow. kind of guy who makes a lot of homophobic jokes, but is secretly into man ass because for someone dressed in all black, his abilities are sure pretty colorful. He can also heal by doing a gamer race and summon murders to stun your towers. My this guy is definitely- I see why it caused brain damage, right? I'm trying to- I see where the strategy comes into play. Yeah, man. I don't look like a game I'm about to play. I don't think I got the time for it. He's trying to compensate for something. For abilities, he's got a sword slam. It kills people. Rocket not? burst. It kills kill. people. And flamethrower. It kills people, people. And makes them medium rare. He's honestly just a big stat stick. Oonga bonga until the ops are boonga gonga. Simple, yet effective. <laughs> he's basically the plague doctor. I'm trying to figure out where that past soundbite was from. Hmm. I think I, I think I know who it is. Peyton. I, I think it's Peyton. He's basically maybe. the plague doctor, but on steroids. Some of his attacks now deal damage to your towers because this ain't easy mode no more. Oh yeah, he's he's compensating for something for sure. Man really went. I need more bullets. I need more bullets. Making weapons. Thanks for the problem, sir. Hasta la vista, baby. If he was a stat stick, he is now a bigger stat stick made out of guns, and he's gonna break your jugular and steal your wallet. As for which tower the bosses prioritize to unalive the north. Some abilities target the most expensive, some target the area with the most towers, some are RNGs, and I'm too lazy to find out which does what. I'll leave that to the wiki nerds. Thank you for just, your contribution. Just... That means sadly no. You can't bait every attack from the boss with cheap towers like what you do with gravel from Arknight. However, you can spam them around to lessen the chance for your more valuable towers to get hit. So perhaps you're I'm safe, already. John. perhaps you're not, who knows. This game currently has 15 towers, and each of them has two upgrade paths. Once you get three upgrade in one path, further upgrade for the other path will be locked. Instead of simply telling you what they do, I'm gonna make a tier list so all my fellow meta slaves can live happily ever Here after. Here we go, the hard Ranger, been done. Basic unit for early game that goes pew pew. Top path gives him stealth detection, while bottom path allows him to yeet grenades. Grenade! Throw it back, private! 
Is he? Operator is, he, is honestly is just better. D tier. Operator. Oh, Solid early game unit twerking. if you don't have laser gunners. It's strong enough so that a few can handle pretty much everything early waves can throw at you. And it's got early detection so you won't get butt f by the first stealth wave. I'm legally blind. Bottom path allows him to call in a 1995 Toyota Hilux with heavy machine gun mounted. If you're very in touch with your inner Taliban, you can spam the shit out of it for some happy car accident and B tier, shotgunner, dog sh range mid damage, D tier. David Bazooka. It has great damage, AoE, armor pierce, and stealth detection on both paths. Very cracked. Top path gives it giga range and a very high damage on- Yeah, bro, I'm, I'm already seeing it. I didn't, I didn't realize it had that many RPG elements to it. With the, that means there's all kinds of crazy amount of builds. Because you know, just like with any game, there are people who sit down and go through the optimals, right? To, 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 to min max the game. And I bet you that it's a turn on for most of these people because you want to figure it out. You want to crack the code. I can I can understand the allure of trying to do something like that with that many builds. You put some in one and some in the other. How many's here? How many's there? You can, oh, bro. man, this is something I feel like, especially if you want to like make YouTube channels about and everything like, Tank Fish does a pretty good job, uh, but you got people like channels like uh, Extra Life, right? Where you got to kind of start that stuff early. You know what I mean? It takes a while to kind of get there, uh, especially when you get to a point to where you can like live off of it. But man, if you ever get there, that's got to be one fun job, often frustrating, but still fun, especially if you can lead that. And I think when it comes to like MMOs, <clears throat> like builds and optimal builds, Extra Life definitely got to be one of the uh, leaders. And didn't they just hit one million subs? Good stuff. Good stuff. I go to them every time primary target while bottom path sacrifices range and your wallet for dps personally i'm a top path enjoyer i like to spam 4-2 missile troopers and just enjoy the firework hello bud it's zelensky we need five billion rockets to bomb donetsk children Slava Ukraine. <laughs> Perhaps Ukraine did have the perfect tower defense strat against Russia with other javelins. S tier. Mine layer. Setting traps in the back line to prevent leaks. Honestly, why don't you just get good and don't leak? D tier. Sniper. Good early game unit that can still be useful in mid and end game. For example, against these two goobers. Oh no, I can't see. I need a P. Explosion though, word. <laughs> Top path makes them absolutely cracked. They get AP bullets and can do Phantom Forces collat. Here Pierce, we have that's a nice. pro COD player. He doesn't shower. As for bottom path, it gives him artillery range. Overall solid unit, A tier. Cryo blaster. Freezes enemies. You can choose between AoE, Bing Chilling, or fast single target, Mr. Freeze. C tier, because fast it doesn't have protection single. and the freeze is honestly kind of mid. However, if you're feeling Canadian, you can cheese bosses. Canada. With, because if you somehow manage to freeze it, you win. There's nothing he can do. Still C tier though, because you can also just kill it. EDJ. It's a woman, but unlike most women, she women. makes your life easier. <laughs> it's currently the most cost effective tower. If you don't have it, you lose. <laughs> Um, that meme with the cat and that lady pointing at it, I don't even know where that originally came uh, The cat was edited in there, right? Yeah, for the meme. But I don't even know where the where the original video came from. Is it from like Housewives or something? Like one of those Housewives TV shows? Her top path increases your tower's DPS Maybe. and her bottom path makes them cheaper. It's like blasting funk music on a battlefield. Why hasn't anyone tried that yet? S tier. John, the main character, the monkey himself, out of his whole arsenal, decides to bring this. Oh. Bottom path is kinda ass. Top path is overpriced. Like your zero two figure eight! His monkey brain doesn't allow him to detect stealth enemies, but despite all that, in higher difficulty modes, you're probably gonna need the monkey rage ability that increases the damage of all nearby towers that by fire 50%. Rate's crazy. For that alone, A tier, S tier, and being held at gunpoint help. Juggernaut, he's a simple man, he has big gun, S tier. Artillery, give the zombies World War 1 PTSD. Top path is okay. Bottom path, however, sh where do I begin? Range? Yes. Damage? Dang. Yes. Blast radius, yes. Cost, too much. I would have given it an A tier if I wasn't a lazy piece of shit.
Since you need to manually well, choose sure where to target, this. B tier, laser mm. gunner. Yeah, that's top annoying. path is basically the sniper top path, but instead of a sniper rifle, you get a laser minigun. In terms of cost effectiveness, sniper is slightly better. But since laser gunners have so much more drip, I gotta give them the dub. Bottom path is just meta. It's a stat sound set. Logic. Very high DPS very with logic. armor pierce and detection. S tier, farm. There are two types of farm users. There's the one who ends up making fat profits profits and carrying the team by simply having more shit. Behold my stuff. They have a master degree Thor. in microeconomy and knows how to balance spending between farming and military. And there's the one who spent all their money on farms early on, then complains about the game being too hard and their teammates too useless because they don't have any towers to defend way f***ing 10. S tier. Patrol boat. For a boat whose job is to patrol, it doesn't detect stealth. You had one f***ing job, goddammit. The top path gives you missiles and the bottom path gives you a flamethrower. Both are decent, but since you can only place it on water and it can't detect stealth. B tier. I'm gonna put it, it in C tier, units. but okay. Instead of playing tower defense, you'll be playing tower offense. Go to them before they come to you. Top path gives you scouts and rail gunners. Both have detection and rail gunners have AP. Bottom path is um random bullshits go. Brain dead S tier, especially on certain maps where they can blob up. Warship. That's crazy for warships on here. The X tier. And that's it. If you disagree the with this tier. list, feel free to comment. I won't look at them, but it's really good for the algorithm. I was wondering how you get money I'm on I'm sorry, here. but this time, I cannot relate to the grind. I have friends in high places. I simply asked nicely, and they just provided me with everything. Imagine grinding. Couldn't be me. But I think I can picture what you peasants went through. Farming the same map over and over again with the highest oh, wow. difficulty that you can handle. Perhaps you work smart and found a tutorial online on how to easy clear an elite map with low tier towers. Perhaps you have someone who can boost you, but you still can't escape the fate of grinding the same f***ing map with the same f***ing strat a quadrillion times. Have fun. Dang. I know I did, because I did it. <laughs> <laughs> That's mad. Gr grinding, especially this is the reason why I can't play like any mobile games. I said oh, I could play to them, but eventually I just kind of just fall off. Like I'm, I'm kind of like in this cycle where I, I could go to bed, I work my 9 to 5, take care of my kids, I record my YouTube videos, and that's, I, I maybe at most got like an hour, an hour and 30 to myself, and mainly that's me probably eating some flower seeds, you know, just trying to relax and not do work and maybe watching Invincible or, or probably the office on my way to bed. <laughs> Monday is the only day I get off. I get off of everything. And that's generally just me trying to produce trash music, but I'm getting there. I mean, it's a tower defense game. Worst case scenario, if you really lack the brain cells, you can just go watch some guides and follow the steps for easy clear. Sadly, I don't think Houston V makes contents on TDX, so you're gonna have to find someone else. Remember, the only thing that can truly challenge you is yourself. Be the masochist you always wanted to be. Play with only rangers, and I assure you, this game is gonna be hard. I guess you can flex on noobs with your big juicy towers in public lobby, but the noobs are gonna suck ass and you're gonna lose at wave 15. Then you're gonna look like an idiot because you thought you could carry them, but you couldn't because you overestimated your ability based on a true story. The game just came out and a lot more content will be added in the future. I know for sure there's gonna be an endless mode where you can get a first-hand experience of what it feels to true be a war. German commander in 1944 on the Eastern Front. And that's it for this video. Subscribe, like, and comment or I will deploy I know you, you did as that, let me know if y'all play this game. How how difficult it is to grind? Do they got kind of like an auto mode? I feel like I feel like with that much grind, the more grind that it takes, the more reason people will start coming out with bots, right? To automate some of that stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, but anyways, that's the end of this video. Dave's out.